everybody! I am That Nursing Prof and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're doing another care plan. This one is actually a requested video, so thank you to the person who requested it. If you have a request, let me know in the comments below. So let's get into this one. We have M.O. She is a 26-year-old G1P0, so first pregnancy. She has type 2 diabetes. She tells you that even though she was diagnosed with diabetes, she is still young and healthy and not too worried about anything. So here you are seeing this patient at their first prenatal checkup and then you know already, okay, they have a comorbidity, so there's potential that their pregnancy might be complicated. So the first diagnosis we've chosen, risk for unstable glucose levels related to the diabetes and the pregnancy. Our goal, the patient will be able to maintain a blood glucose level of 60 to 99, peak postprandial levels 100 to 129, and an A1C of less than 6% throughout the pregnancy. So this goal is a long one, right? So this is her first prenatal visit and we're setting this goal for every single prenatal visit until delivery, okay? So this one, we're not gonna be able to go, yeah, they met the goal for quite some time, but that's okay. Our interventions to make this happen, teach the patient to keep a blood glucose diary. Our rationale for choosing that a diary can help patients learn to associate symptoms with actual glucose readings, as well as guide treatment, okay? So she has the type two diabetes, but she's not super worried about it. And we don't want her to worry about it. We don't want her to like be overly anxious about it. We just want her to be responsible about it, okay? Because she is already considered a higher risk pregnancy just because she already has a comorbidity on top of the pregnancy. So kind of getting it under control and you know knowing where her levels are at is going to help us help her. And so we can say all the way at the end, right, that our goal was met and they were able to maintain blood glucose levels and A1C throughout the pregnancy. So this one is a long one, right? This one is spanning over our you know whole nine months. But what we could do is we could set this goal and then for every checkup, right, every follow-up appointment, we can check their blood sugar, we can go over and make sure that they've been, you know, keeping a good diary, and then we can say, yes, they've met that goal at this point so far, but we're not going to discontinue it, we're going to keep this one because it's not going to be complete until the end of the pregnancy, so until delivery. So that's kind of a special one for these, like, longer-term goals that we're not gonna just wait until the end and be like, okay, did they do it or did they not do it, right? We're gonna be checking in between during some time. So every, every visit we're gonna be checking. Our next one, readiness for enhanced childbearing process related to appropriate prenatal care as evidenced by the fact that she's here. She's seeking care. She's here at the, the clinic for her appointment, right? So that's a good thing. And I know that seems like the most minimal effort ever, right? Like, oh, good for you, you made an appointment. But so many people do not do that. So the fact that she's even here for this first prenatal appointment is kind of a big deal, and it's a good sign. It's a good sign that she's going to get good care and have a good, healthy pregnancy. So our goal, the patient will be able to state the importance of frequent prenatal care by the end of this appointment. And that's huge, our timeline on this one, okay? So she needs to do this by today, okay? Before you leave this room, before you leave this clinic, I wanna know that you understand why it's important. Because if she doesn't do that, you might not see her again, right? She might not come to a next appointment. So she needs to know by the end of the appointment that prenatal care is really important. So our intervention is to provide education on the importance of frequent prenatal care and our rationale, improved perinatal care practices can bring about a reduction in maternal mortality. And that's huge. There is a big association with people who do not get prenatal care or who do not get adequate prenatal care and morbidity and mortality rates for mom and for baby, right? So very important that they understand it's important for them to come to their prenatal appointments, especially someone like her 
who's got the diabetes on top of the pregnancy. So that's what we want. So we're going to explain why it's important. And then our goal, we can say, was met. They were able to state the importance of prenatal care by the end of the appointment. Okay, so they understood, yes, it's a good thing I came here today and I'm going to continue to come to my routine appointments and make sure that everything's okay. I'm gonna keep my glucose diary and be on top of my sugars and let you know if anything's off, right? So that's what we want for this patient, right? We want them to have a safe pregnancy. We want there to be no complications for mom or for baby. And the best thing to do for that is to make sure they're managing their diabetes and make sure they understand the importance of prenatal care. So that was my video. I hope you found this helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And if not, I'll see you on the next one.